work so that if you did want to adjust this and maybe make more, the way I created it, I'm just going to go file um, new presentation so I can just show you the basics of how it was created. First, as always, I always change the page to an eight and a half by 11 because I feel like it just looks more like a paper. Okay. And then the way that I got those boxes was simply going insert, shape, and I just kind of made this shape be a little bit bigger. I filled it yellow. I'm just going to do control C. Can, whoops. Control C, control V. I'm going to make this box be a little bit smaller. And I'm going to change the color to be orange. And then I'm going to do control C, control V. And let's make this box be blue. And you can kind of see how I did the boxes. And then as far as the labels went, um, I just inserted, again, a shape. And I put it in the center. And then I inserted a text box on top of that shape. And I just called it tab one. I'm kind of making this not very nice right now, but you can center it, make it better. And then one thing that is important is to select the tab one and hit shift and select this outside part. And I like to right click and group. So that way they stay together when I move them around. Now you need to add another slide. And since this first tab was orange, I'm going to change the background color to be that orange color so that it matches. I'm going to go back up here and I'm just going to click this tab, click control C, come back over here. I'm going to click control V. And I'm going to put it at the bottom, just like I had on my other, my other example. And then right here where it says tab one, I simply click on it. I say insert. Whoops. I forgot. You have to wait until it can't be connected. Let me ungroup this. I'm going to right click and ungroup it. I'm just going to click on the shape now and I'm going to say insert link. And again, I could do a YouTube or something else if I wanted to, but I want to do slides in this presentation and I want to pick the orange slide, click apply. Now I'm going to group the two of them together. So I'm going to hit shift and shift, right click and group. It does not like to do a link when they're grouped together. So again, if I want to do this blue one, I'm going to hit add another slide. Let's move that back up. Change my color to the blue. Add it. Done. There we go. Now I'm here. Again, I'm going to want to insert, whoops, command Z. I'm going to insert. I'm going to insert my shape again, and then I'm going to insert my link from my shape. So link, and this time I'm going to do slide three. Apply. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. You get the idea. But if I go to present, then when I click on tab one, it takes me to where tab one was. Although it's because I didn't change the color, so let's change the color on this one. Background color, orange, done. So let's present again. So you can see when I click tab one, it goes there. So that's kind of the basics ins and outs of how to do it. There's many, many things that you can do. Uh, some people also call this a hyperdoc because it has links and things in it. And it's all up to you on what you want to do. The possibilities are endless.